Hirokazu Koreeda stands as a filmmaker in contemporary cinema, celebrated for his profound explorations of human relationships and the complexities of existence. With a career spanning decades, Koreeda has garnered international acclaim and his ability to dissect the human condition with exquisite nuance, known for his empathetic storytelling, he crafts narratives that resonate on a deeply emotional level. His films often navigate the delicate terrain of familial dynamics, that is to say family films, morality, and the themes of truth. In this film, The Third Murder, Koreeda showcases his masterful touch in propelling audiences into a world where boundaries between innocence and guilt blur, and the essence of truth is brought under scrutiny. Through meticulous direction and a profound understanding of human nature, Koreeda invites viewers on a journey of introspection, challenging our preconceptions, and leaving us pondering long after the screen fades to black. As a director who delves into the complexities of truth, subjectivity, and the human condition, The Third Murder is set against the backdrop of a murder trial that the film challenges the audience's perceptions of reality and presents a captivating narrative that keeps us questioning until the very end. Koreeda masterfully constructs a story that blurs the lines between guilt and innocence, which pushes viewers to question the reliability of both personal and legal truths. The film's protagonist, the attorney Shigemori, initially seems set on defending Misumi, the accused murderer. However, as the layers of the case are peeled back, Shigemori and the audience confront a series of revelations that cast doubt on Misumi's guilt. The film's title, The Third Murder, alludes to the intricate layers of truth. As the narrative unfolds, we are confronted with multiple versions of events, highlighting the subjectivity of human memory and perception. Koreeda challenges us to question whether any single truth can be objective, or if it is shaped by personal experiences and biases. One of the film's central themes is the concept of redemption. Through Misumi's character, Koreeda explores the potential for transformation and forgiveness, even in the face of heinous actions. This thematic exploration serves as a catalyst for self-reflection and encouraging the audience to consider their own judgments and preconceptions of what this case might really have been. Koreeda's signature directing style shines throughout his meticulous attention to detail, which shows his deliberate pacing and emotional depth. The film's contemplative shots and moments of quiet introspection allow the audience to immerse themselves in the characters' internal struggles. This approach fosters empathy and connection, prompting us to question our own beliefs and values about what is right and what is wrong. Koreeda artfully weaves together different perspectives, blurring the boundaries between reality and perception. This technique prompts us to consider the validity of each character's account and challenges our tendency to seek a singular, objective truth. By presenting conflicting narratives, Koreeda asks us to confront the notion that truth can be multifaceted and elusive. There is no one truth when there could be many different versions of the truth. Throughout the film, Koreeda employs visual symbolism to enhance the narrative's depth, from the stark contrast of light and shadow to the recurring motifs such as snow-covered landscape, every visual element carries weight and significance. These symbols invite us to interpret the film on a symbolic level, adding layers of meaning to the story. The third murder probes into profound existential questions about the nature of humanity. Through the character's introspective moments and philosophical conversations, Koreeda invites us to ponder the complexities of human existence, morality, and the inherent capacity for change. This film serves as a canvas for exploring the depths of the human soul, as Koreeda is so well known for using. The narrative constantly places characters in morally challenging situations, whether it's Shigemori's evolving stance on defending Misumi, or if it's Misumi's own ambiguous motives, where the film refuses to provide us with an easy answer. This deliberate ambiguity forces us to grapple with our own ethical compass and consider the grey areas that often define real-world dilemmas. Koreeda emphasizes the fallibility of memory, the influence of personal perception, and this theme is not only crucial to the unfolding of the plot, but it also serves as a broader commentary on how our own recollections shape our understanding of reality. It compels us to question the reliability of our own memories and acknowledge that the potential for bias is possible in every person, no matter where they stand on the side of justice. Set in Japan, the film subtly touches on cultural norms and societal expectations. These elements provide additional layers of complexity to the character's motivation and actions. Koreeda subtly invites us to consider how cultural context can impact our understanding of right and wrong. The Third Murder is a cinematic exploration of the multifaceted nature of truth. The intricacies of human morality are what Hirokazu Koreeda's skillful storytelling and thematic depth offer us viewers as a chance to reflect on our systems of reality, the justice system, and the many complexities of the human experience. 
As we journey through the twists and turns of the narrative, we are reminded of the search that truth is often elusive, as it is essential. The film stands as a testament to the power of cinema in provoking introspection and sparking conversations about the fundamental questions that shape our lives. Now, while I do admit that The Third Murder might not be Koreeda's best film, but it is most definitely a great film to watch and one that is definitely, definitely on my on my list of favorites because I think for Koreeda to finally have a departure from the family structure of his normal films and kind of still keep his style intact in a film that's so different from his other films shows the mark of a true director, a true auteur, and why I admire him as one of the greatest Japanese directors living today. Thank you all for watching. I hope you really enjoyed that. It was an interesting um, video essay for me to go on because I was recently only exposed to this film. So I hope you all enjoyed that and I hope you all will check out The Third Murder. It is a decent film to watch and till the next one, I'll see you guys soon.